The last one comes later. Now this is the sort of great room I want to Rebellion. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. Lovely. Bones outside a sarcophagus. Seems odd. I wonder if there's any spiders. Hmm. I do wonder if there are spiders hidden somewhere. In the shadow of discovery, Sebastian sent me an owl saying he found something interesting in a book of, of the scriptorium and he wants to discuss it in the undercroft. Hmm, I wonder if we learn another one of those unforgivable spells we're not supposed to know. Oh. It's beyond me how no one else knows about this place. Sebastian, my love. You'll never believe what I've learned. What did you learn? What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the Scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. I mean, I didn't use... I mean, I did use Crucio, but... I don't regret it. I, I think that's like the, that there's a moral moral gray area about dark magic. It's like who do you use it on and stuff like that, you know. Like you could argue if someone used Crucio, Cru, I can't, I'm saying it weird be, because of him. If someone used Crucio on Voldemort, would that be okay? Would that be wrong? You know? <sighs> So, I agree, we had to do what we had to do. It was hard to do, but casting Crucio was our only option. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. Hmm. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. I see no reason to involve Ominous. I'm glad you agree. When I know more, I shall send an owl. Aw, oh, this was it. Aw, oh, poo. And don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. <laughs> Ominous, we were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. Everything looks dirty. Uh, Ominous, I- I am not letting this go. Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I know what I heard. You knew I wouldn't agree with this. Going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. I knew his parents died, but I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors, spent nearly every waking moment in the cellar library, noses buried in books. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. They heard a sudden crash and ran downstairs, but it was too late. Their parents had crumpled to the floor. A defect with the lamp in the cellar caused the room to fill with an undetectable toxin. Sebastian and Anne were helpless. They had no magic yet. What a horrible story. 
It is. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian, too. Please avoid anything to do with that spellbook. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Welcome. Good. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. I'm going to work, I presume. <laughs> I was like, why is that in a game? <laughs> I keep forgetting. <laughs> okay, um... Who do... I, I, you're proud for me. Why are you proud for me? But I've been streaming more regularly, so I'm... That's kind of good. I hope you're doing w uh, well as well. I hope you live fine. I haven't been able to make many streams the last couple weeks, which is insane. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't lose very much weight, like over the, like yeah. It's not that much that I lost though, but like you can see it in my face first though. So thank you. <laughs> I'm still single. <laughs> no comment <laughs> you think that's why the, that's the reason why I haven't been really around that much <laughs> maybe who knows I'll take that secret to my grave but yeah let's continue uh, the thing is um, I'm turning I'm always red I literally have a skin problem where I get red so that's why you can't you can't see it here see i have a skin problem i am red <laughs> i remember if you try to get it normal <laughs> yeah <laughs> but thank you for stopping by i hope you're doing well uh yeah, let's see. Um, I guess this. Those references in the book seem promising. Everything to do with Salazar Slytherin seems promising until it's too late. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further. But if you think he might, please let me know. It would mean a lot. Uh, it's like I can understand both of the sides. He wants to heal his sister, but... Is dark magic the answer? You, we don't know. You know, it's it's a gray area. It's a moral gray area, and those are the worst. So, we, uh, I can't. I don't have Dura crawls, so I can't do this. We can go get transformation spells. Underground harbor from in the library. Hate home. <laughs> home oh, you're doing home office. Why are you why are you awake so early when you're doing home office? Oh, it's 420 by the way. Good luck. Uh where? Oh, I don't know where the library is. Uh Ah, there's the library. You have to start at 6 a Do you? If it's home office? I mean, I guess. If it... I guess. It depends. I would be too lazy. <laughs> if they're like, you can work from home, I'd be like, okay. Thank you. What are you up to now? Ignatia, please. Shut up. Sorry. Oh, it's rude. Okay, so I have to find... Collect the field guide page from the book on the intermediate transfer game. But this is... Ah, it's upstairs. Perhaps the book Professor Weasley wants me to get is upstairs. That's literally what I just... <laughs> What just happened? 
Wait, something happened. Or oh, was a house health cleaning here? Revelio. That book Professor Weasley asked me to find should be around here somewhere. Looking for the book Intermediate Transfiguration. Oh, don't tell me I have to do a quest to get the book. Professor Weasley asked me to, uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz? Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Yes. Oh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. I just made... because... Oh, all right. That's that's good too. So you can spend time with Minula. Are you gonna do some fun? Go. I don't know where where you can do where where you're from. Ice skating. <laughs> okay. Uh, if I must. If that's the only way I can convince you to give me that book, then let's get it over with. Splendid. Just a few questions, and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Okay. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch? I feel like I know this. The snake bird. No. Is it? No. The Golden Snidget. Let me look it up. Spend any time and just... So much fun. Fair enough. All right, let me look up the golden snidget. Aha, it was the golden snidget. Aha. The golden snidget. <laughs> Correct. The snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question. Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? I know this. Felix Felicis. Felix Felicis. Well done. Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. Uh -huh. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? The Deathly Hallows. The Deathly Hallows. Correct. According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? Oh, uh, it's the... The Quaffle, right? Yeah. No, the Bludger. Yeah, the Bludger. Because the Quaffle... Yeah. The Bludger. I'm sorry. No, the was the it was the quaffle. When the chaser throws the quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded 10 points. True or false? Polyjuice potion allows the drinker to change species. Wait, Polyjuice potion allows the drinker to just... Wait, no, 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 no. You can't do that. False. Correct. While Polyjuice Potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. All right. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. I know. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. Sure, honestly, you know what? Why not? I'd like to answer more questions. What governmental body directly preceded the Ministry of Magic? Directly preceded... Uh, the, in the International Confederation of Wizards? 
the International Confederation of Wizards. No, that's ah. incorrect. The answer was the Wizards Council. The Wizards Council disbanded in 1707 after the creation of the International Statute of Wizarding Secrecy, which required a more structured government to support its enforcement. Which dragon breed is the smallest? Oh. Those are big. Those are big, I know that. I don't know the names. I grew up with Harry Potter in German, so this is horrible for me. Uh, let me close this here. Peruvian Viper Tooth. I don't think it's I. It's it's one or two. I think one. The Antipodean Opali. No, uh, I'm sorry. See, but the answer see, was the Peruvian Viper Tooth. See, I knew. Though the Viper Tooth is the smallest breed. Averaging at around 15 feet in length, it is also the fastest breed and feared for its venomous fangs. Who founded the village of Hogsmeade? Oh my... Uh, wait, no, 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 no. Hey, it's a... it's a dude. Quincy Hogg. Yeah! No, it was Hank... No. I think that's a trick question. It's Woodcroft. Yes, it's Woodcroft. I was correct. Hengist of Woodcroft. That's right. It is believed that Hengist used the three broomsticks in as his home. The hide behind was accidentally created by crossbreeding a ghoul with what other magical creature? Uh, damn it, guys. A demi guys. Yes! While the hide behind has the power of invisibility, those who have seen it have described it as a tall, thin monkey with silver hair. What is the only spell known to repel a lethefold? The lethefold? 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 What's a. What the fuck? Uh. It's definitely not the Patronus. It's probably. Repel would be knockback. The knockback jinx. Actually, the answer was the Patronus jinx. What? Really? The only known survivor of a Lethefold attack was a wizard named Flavius Belby, who was on holiday in Papua New Guinea at the time. Who published the law of elemental transfiguration? Oh. What'd you do? I don't know. I don't know these names. Evangeline Orpington. That's incorrect. The answer I was looking for was Gamp. One of the principal exceptions to Gamp's law is that food cannot be conjured, though it can be summoned. What does the Hogwarts motto translate to? Never tickle a sleeping dragon. Never tickle a sleeping dragon. Correct. In Latin, the Hogwarts motto is Draco Dormians Numquam Titillandus. Which magical creature is the only one known to produce eggs through its mouth? <clears throat> I think that would... No. The room... <sighs> the room spore. That's right! According to Parcel Mouths, each of the room spore's three heads serves a different function. The left head is the planner, the middle is the dreamer, and the right is the critic. Where is Ilvermorny School of Witchcraft and Wizardry located? Ilvermorny? That doesn't sound like the rainforest. Mount Greylock? I don't Mount know. Mount Greylock. Well done! The American school was founded in the 17th century by Esalt Sayre and James Stewart. What is the most powerful love potion known to wizard kind? I would love to end this. And... Uh, Emer elixir to no it's this one amatentia that's the answer amatentia smells differently to every person according to what they find attractive such as dusty book covers or <clears throat> are you interested in continuing on to the next round they're my most difficult questions not now i don't have time for another quiz at the moment 
Yeah, I'm done with you. Crucio! Oh, sorry. Velio ought to make quick work of this. Okay. Okay, we're good for now. I've had enough questions. I thought this was never gonna end. Revelio. Okay, let me... Ah, I can't jump down. Damn it. There is another... Oh, we only have a few keys left we have to do. Oh no, how do I get in here though? Oh, I can just... Revelio. I can just go into the restriction section. Faction. That's good to know. Thank you. So, somewhere around here... Isn't... You have to use the stairs. Yeah. DBD stairs are, um, just... Oh, hello. One. There. Let me slap you. Ha! There we go. Only three more. Rebellion. There is a... Hello, are you guys having a conversation? Just awkwardly staring at each other while being dead. Okay, that's that's so My mother would like to speak with me. I believe she has learned about some of what we've been up to. I am hoping she may be easier on me if you are there. Huh? Lucy, can we meet the three broomsticks? It may finally be safe since we rescued the dragon from Horntail Hall. All right. Revelio. So many, so many quests. Everyone wants something from me. In the underground harbor, let me go and see where that is. Uh, might be closer for just fast travel over here. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, nice to see you, my young friend. Do you need help? No. Okay. That is rude. Absolutely disrespectful what you just did. Hello again. Were you able to get the honeydew? No. Your quest doesn't give me as many rewards as I would like. What are you guys doing out here at night? It's dangerous. There's a maniac. On the loose. I've always said that travel... Oh, does it brought in the mind? Revelion. Ooh. Where's Lumos? Wait, that was wrong. This is Lumos. There. Lumos. Oh, I don't know where that is. It's probably up here, though. Wait, what statue was it?
It's, it might be the werewolf statue, but how do I get down? Ah, here. Yeah. Let's go to the underground harbor. Have I been there before? No, I haven't, have I? So this is the underground harbor. Revelio. <laughs> Located deep beneath the viaduct, uh, viaduct courtyard is the landing for boats delivering first year students across the lake, Black Lake to Hogwarts. So we these tasks are complete. I should attend Transfiguration. Ah. Uh -huh. I'm so sorry, gray lady. Don't worry. It'll be fine. <laughs> Probably not, but you know, you know. You never know. So let's do this, then we can finally transfigure people. I still want Bombarda. I want Bombarda. I can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. <sighs> it's still inconvenient though. There we go. Let's wait on the floor. Hold on. <laughs> oh. Settle down. Settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. No, I don't. Okay. Ha! Beautifully done. Aha! Let me try it immediately. Can I transform anything? Probably not. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now, it seems you've been making excellent use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. Deke tells me you captured a unicorn and brought it back to the room of requirement. Protecting so rare a beast is an accomplishment of which you can be quite proud. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumors of your extracurricular activities. Were your meetings with Professor Black's house elf and exploration of various caves down by the lake connected in any way to Professor Fig? No. Not at all. I was, uh... Intrigued by stories of a giant squid and wanted to learn more, I encountered Scrope, who seemed delighted to share what he knew. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. 
It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. Thank you so much. Whoa, Jesus, hello there. Yeah. the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. My plan with the helmet failed, but I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there, and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. Gobbledygook. We know someone who pretends he knows to speak. Who are you? Could you remind me how the Dedalian keys work? Oh, no. When you spot or... I uh, hope you follow some. If you open a cabinet, I'd love to know what... Okay. Um... Oh, hello. There we go. <laughs> What is in here? Give me all your secrets. Money. Wow. Amazing. Rebellion. I have not found more demi guises statues. Demi guys statues. Hello, Hamora. Ah. Here we go. Ah. Ah. Rebellion. What is this place? Am I, am I supposed to be here? Good finger. Ah, can't light those. What is this? Revelio. The Sphinx, a beast with a human head on a lion's body, has been used by witches and wizards for centuries to guard valuables and secret hideaways due to its challenges and affinities for puzzles and riddles. Interesting. Oh, there's so many things here. Akio. No. There we go. Level 2 lock. God, why is there just an Egyptian... Is this the put is this the pulso thing? Wait a minute. There's so many things here. The pulso puzzle room. Ah two? The pull wait, two. I haven't even been to the, the pulso puzzle room one. How do you want me to go to the to the second one. Oh my god. I will never finish this. What? Oh wait. 
Aha. Hmm. <laughs> I kill. I did not think that would happen. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, uh, let's do it again. Let's do that one again. No one saw what happened. Everything's fine. Okay, here. Yes. And then we... This. Anne is getting worse. If there is any chance that the relic from Slytherin's spellbook can help her, I must find it. I'm requesting your help. Meet me outside of Akio. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. Anne is dying, horrible things are happening. It's fine, it's fine. Okay, wait. I did not think. I, my brain, I did not think. Okay, you know, I, I'll do this another. This is pro. I don't even know why. I cannot use the map in this place. Please tell me I can leave. Okay, thank you. My brain is not correct for right now. This, this is not good. This is oof. I need to do this on my own or look up a guide or something. <laughs> okay. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Quests. In the shadow of time. Ooh, we can learn Imperial. Might as well do it because we already started it, you know? It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. I didn't fuck up. I just don't have. I'm just tired to do. Where am I going? Holy shit, this is far away. I'm just too tired to do uh, puzzles right now. I just need to do blah, blah. Yeah, exactly. You blah, blah, blah. Uh, keep on one for his spells. Uh. There's no telling what lies in wait for me in there. Um, there, you're here. Good, Sebastian. That relic you mentioned. I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them, so I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. I'd be interested to know what else the student discovered. Have a look. Unfortunately, there's no name on it. 
but I suspect if it was important enough for Slytherin to stash in his spellbook, it's worthy of further study. Hmm. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. Student report. The catacomb assignment you learned more than I imagined, imagined learning about our ancestors was illuminating. However, I stumbled upon something else I could not imagine. In an area behind the great room, which is which had suffered decay amid the, the turned over sarcophagi, I discovered an oddly shaped relic. Immediately I sensed its power. It would be thrilling to study a relic further if only the removal of objects were allowed. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. Ah. Okay, so there's no quests. Mum's the word. <laughs> I love that. Love that. Okay. Mum's the word. <laughs> but yeah. I don't know what you did to make to do home office. Is that a punishment now? I don't know. I'd gladly do do it. I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. It's probably just the ner the scent of uh, Inferi. Our spiders. Confringo! Confringo! Crucible. Leviosa, Expelliarmus. Cabalsa. At least now we know we're not alone in here. Perhaps that was it. And the rest of the tomb will be insect free. Yeah, spiders aren't insects. Don't start. Accio! We're here for a reason. I'd say opening them all is justified. Wingardium Leviosa. Let me Alright, let's have a look. Finding a chest in an inconspicuous loft. Brilliant. Sorry, didn't mean to jump on your head there. Hmm. I'm sorry I yeeted that spider at you. We've read the world of another spider. I shall sleep better tonight. I don't like the spiders. Ah, see, money. Why did I get XP from that? Repulsor. Revelio. Watch your step. I nearly slipped there. Expelliarmus. Good friend. It no longer feels like Revelio. a tomb. I've read about catacombs that underwent expansion efforts and ran into problems, often cave-ins, and then were abandoned. 
Exactly. We'll be fine, though. Will we? Will we be fine? Though I do prefer spiders to Inferi. Uh, <laughs> not yet. Not yet. This is only Imperial we're learning here. The last one comes later. Now this is the sort of great room I want to be Rebellion. Better. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. Lovely. Bones outside a sarcophagus. Seems odd. I wonder if there's any spiders. Hmm. I do wonder if there are spiders hidden somewhere. There's something here by the altar. Yes. Student journal entry. Oh. I foolishly mentioned the relic in my report and was reminded to leave it here where it lay. But research must come before my fealty to the rules. I sense something about this relic. I was told that those chosen by English oak ones have powerful intuition. I believe it. Um, therefore, when no one was looking, I acted. I conjured two barricades to isolate the relic. Ancestors forgave me, but I used their very bones as the key. <laughs> I plan to return, uh, return to it, but I must ready myself for our next assignment. Learning the Imperius Curse. The spell is said to serve well against enemies. What did you find? Hmm. Akio. Kaposa. Hmm. Revelio. Any more hidden spiders? No. I assume eerie sounds come with the territory. Kaposa. Oh wait. Akio. Repair right. No. Revelio. Ah. Accio. That's Revelio Accio Honestly, we might as well. Incendio Defender Descender Incendio Glacier Accio Defender We've read the world of another spider. I shall sleep better tonight. Accio. Guardian Leviosa. Accio. Guardian Leviosa. Accio. Rebellion. We did it. What's this? Expelliarmus, the pulsar. Oh, something sick. We've made it this far, but clearly we have more to do. Oh, there's so much, though. There's so much back there. Oh, my God. Expelliarmus. Hmm. Akio. I need to find a safe way across. Lumos. Accio. 
Lumos. Akio. Lumos. Akio. Guardian Leviosa. Revelio. Akio. Guardian Leviosa. There we go. Rickety Bone Bridge complete. Revelio. Descender. Caborso. Revelio. What? Am I? I don't think I'm supposed to go here yet. Let me wait. There's so much to do in this too goddamn tomb. <sighs> it's fine. What do you want to talk about, Sebastian? Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced the space beyond the great room. Which means this can't be a dead end. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperius curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Do you think the pages were left here on purpose? Slytherin mentioned a student who excelled in charms and always carried a satchel stuffed full of notes. They might have been left on purpose, or the student may have simply dropped them. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagined. Ah, okay. Find the relic is this way, so we can go this way without worrying. I just want to, I want to get loot. Great, delicious loot. Mmm. Give me money. And not bones. Not bones. I don't like bones. This is very, uh... Oh, this goes back to this room anyway. Rebellion. Oh, so many things here. Akio. Ah, there we go. Okay, is this Revelio. Is this it? That's it. Okay. This goes down further, yeah. Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. The student's diary mentions the Imperius Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. Jesus. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. Shouldn't I know more about what the curse entails? Remember the blasting curse? Same idea, except when it comes to unforgivable curses, your intention has to be clear. You have to mean it. Where did you learn the Imperius curse? I taught myself. Don't tell Ominous that I've told you. It's not exactly something I can brag about, but it may come in handy. I think you ought to know it. It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. Oof. Here. 
Here we go. Something troubling ahead. Be on your You know, might as well might as well. Rebellion. I mean Are you gonna attack your friend now? Yes you are. You're still fighting for me? Yes you are. Oh Defend. never mind. Arrest the momentum. Oh, where'd it go? Damn, the screams. The screams are horrible. There's so many rooms Another here. Barricade. Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a cinch. <laughs> how gracious of you. I try. Yeah, it's 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 mm. fine. I understand. This looks different than what we faced before. Now we're also dealing with rune symbols. But a little less sign of X, please. <laughs> that would be great. Incendio. All right. Oh, not so fun now, is it? When mommy turns against you. Hurry, Matriarch's hit. How would I do that? Some of these stone tablets are truly stupid. One that has to be something. Descendo! How would I bury. Pendo? Descendo! Springo! Defendo! Defendo! Incendio. Spiders can make such a mess. Bit dramatic, isn't it? Level thirty, yes. Okay. Incendio. Interesting. Revelio. Incendio. Rebellion. Hmm. Accio. Incendio. Perhaps we need to pull the handles in the order oh. of the symbols on the tablets. Accio. Which ones? Defaulter. So 
so many things here. This catacomb has suffered decay. Just as the student summary described. I doubt anyone's been here in quite some time. Oh. Unidentified hand Rebellion. item. Epic gloves. Why is it? Wait, did I not just? Okay, I did. Hmm. Perhaps we need to pull the handles in the order of the symbols on the tablets. I don't know what you mean. Do you mean this? Yeah. Akio, that worked. Keep going. Ah. Guardian Leviosa. Ah. Uh. There we go. You are head and shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. Huh. Nice Rebellion. pun. Nice pun. Head and shoulders. I see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. Yeah, um... Oh god. That did never end. Jesus Rebellion. Christ. That, that was a lot of spiders. 
Oh, that was a lot of spoilers. I don't go there. Did I miss something? Wait, I missed all these things. How did I miss all these things? Revelio. Jesus. I mean, it's not much, but you know. Okay, I think that's... Yeah, nothing else there, it's just... <sighs> One of these things. Okay. I think we have everything now. Dead end. Lovely. All that for nothing. Hold on. Don't give up yet. Akio! The relic contains abundant potential. It's possible. Possibilities could benefit not only wizard kind but the world, but the dark sacrifice involved to realize its intent may be too great. Until we know more, please do not remove this relic. Oh. Sebastian, the relic. Look. Could it be? The note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea, but we're here for the relic. The note advises to leave the relic alone. I assure you, we were meant to find this. For Anne's sake, I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. I must keep this relic secret, especially from my uncle. Oh no. Is that ominous? Ominous. The sounds we kept hearing. It was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. I can't believe this. How much did you hear? Everything. I was glad to hear you tell Sebastian to leave the relic. We need to stand together. Convince Sebastian this is wrong. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. We should stop him because it says it needs a dark sacrifice, so. Sorry, I'm biting my nails. You're right. This seems far riskier than Sebastian realizes. Good. We're agreed. We don't allow him to leave here with the relic. I do think we should talk to him, but I fear we won't stop him from taking the relic. What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we negotiate. We allow Sebastian to leave with the relic under one condition. After this, no more. I feel that's what we agreed to in the scriptorium. I'm being taken for a fool. You're not, Ominous. This may be the only way to keep your friendship intact. Let's trust him to know what's best. Fine. If I trust him on this, I'm trusting you too. The Dark Arts seem harmless until it's too late. <sighs> Go then. Leave with the relic. I'll not say a word more. I hope I don't regret this. Sebastian, we're ready. 
What is it? I haven't changed my mind. Ominous has. Let's go. What? Ominous? Hmm. I'll explain on the way. Come on. Well, what happened back there? Ominous and I found a compromise. Ominous simply needs a moment with you and he'll change his mind. Is that it? I told him we ought to give you this chance. That the relic is too important to ignore. There has to be more to it than that. Tell me. We agreed on what was needed, Sebastian. You have my word. Oof. I never wanted to keep all this from Ominous. He just doesn't understand. And I did want to worry him all over again. But you kind of did worry him even more by not telling him. Ah, uh, it's just, oh, uh, this whole quest line and making me feel like, ugh, ugh, so bad. Everything horrible. Ugh. As we were leaving, Ominous wouldn't even acknowledge me. That's not like him. He was troubled, Sebastian. Even though we agreed to it all, it's been a lot to take in. I thought he understood. He knew we couldn't give up. All of this is too important for Anne. Okay, return to Falcroft. I hope this is not going to turn ugly. This is definitely going to turn ugly. Oh, cur oh, we're literally we're supposed to walk there. Okay. Come on, Sebastian. Hurry up. Oof. Well, you guys have fun over there. Lurk. When we get to Feldcroft... I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. She thinks no worries. It did only upset her. Uh, have fun working. I won't be on for much longer. Maybe like forty-five more minutes, and then I'll go off. But thank you, thank you so much. Have a good day, even though you have to work, and take care. Oof. Why they're just oh what why, why is everything burning? No, this isn't good. What is it? Smoke over there by the hamlet. Oh no. Felkov's in trouble. They're under attack. Let's hurry. But first, let me see. I have seven points. Right. Oh, those are good, though. Okay. I'm gonna leave that out for now. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
What have you done? Saved my sister. With an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. <laughs> what did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. There was little time to react, but it was an unforgivable curse. I acted in the moment. That's all. I shall make my uncle see reason. He cannot banish me from my own home, from my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. Mm. Reparo. Revelio. Oof. Can I put out the flames there? Glacius. No. Now there's a... Uh... Hmm. What was he thinking? Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Why, Sebastian?
Okay. first instinct was to imperial him but you know hello cow moo speak with sebastian and the other craft i don't like where this is going i think i don't know if i did some maybe some bad choices perhaps maybe may mayhaps what is this ah uh. Oh man. Off on another adventure. Jesus. Are we? Did not expect the gigantic wait, no. God damn it. Uh, I keep forgetting the levels, so I I fast travel to the wrong spot. Okay. What are you doing here? Okay. Oh boy. Getting pretty tired, so I might not. <laughs> might not, uh do more for this part. Yeah. Did you speak with my uncle? I wish I had better news about your uncle and Anne. Well, what did he say? I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Feldcroft. Nor Anne. I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. He had no right to banish me from my home twin. <sighs> if he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne, he's sorely mistaken. He also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form, and that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh? That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne, to reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. What did you mean you'd send Anna Crest so that she'd know to meet you? It's... we just lost our parents, and we were packing up to go and live with Solomon. We couldn't take everything. She was carefully organizing her prized possessions, a box of artifacts she'd collected to do with our family. Jewelry, cards, old photographs. She got to her favorite, a handmade crest, and without a second thought, she handed it to me. This will keep you safe, she said. It holds no enchantment, but I've kept it with me since. That's how I can reach Anne. I'll get the crest to her with plans to meet. Be careful, Sebastian. Your uncle could intercept it. We'll be expelled. Even if Ominous is upset with us, he has no love lost for his family. He'd use their connections to the Headmaster if we needed his help. I shall wait to hear from you then. Thank you. I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. I'll send you an owl when I have news. I still have a feeling everything of uh, everything we're doing is going to turn very, very bad, very ho horrible, absolutely abysmal. But uh, no, no. Let me go to the room of acquirement real quick, just real quick. Just pop in real quick and see, uh, gather ingredients, and see because I was breeding uh, something. Oh. Huh. 
Yeah, I put those. Those make moonstone. I don't know if I did this in the last episode. Or not. Maybe I did it off screen. Ah. Uh. Uh. Okay. Was it here? No. Maybe here. Yeah. Sorry, Deke. Sorry. Get out of my get out of my face here. Aha! Yeah. Ooh, is it ready? No. Wait. Wait. What do you mean? I was breeding to the Thestrals. Did you not save? <gasps> Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! Oh, oh! Let's finish that quest while we're at it. Uh huh. Look at it, it's so cute. A little scary, but cute. Here's some food. I should let Deke know about the newborn Thestral. Oh. I will breed the moon calves because I want to breed them. Takes 30 minutes to breed them. That's so long. But anyway, let's talk to Deke and finish this quest. Deke, I did it. They did the dirty and now there is a baby. Hello, Deke. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we can both see Thestrals, Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts, but sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean, to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix, the rarest of all beasts that Master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged Master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself, before Tobbs found him. It sounds to me as if your master got what he deserved. Deke never wanted anyone to get hurt. Not the phoenix, not Tobbs. Not even Master. Deke often wonders what became of that phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. Hmm.